Under Region, select Full Screen. Experiment with other options later. Under Options, go to Video Options and use FD use FFD Show Video Codec. Select Quality to 100 in order to have good results. For most of my demonstrations, I have keyframes every four frames, and my frame rate is four frames per second, or one frame every 250 milliseconds. As long as you have Auto Adjust selected, it's very easy to adjust that. For cursor options, you can choose to hide or show your cursor. And also uh, adjust how your cursor is highlighted, or if it's highlighted at all. A click feedback allows you to select a different color of circle and size, which appears whenever you do a right or left click. And I have that enabled on this, so you'll see it each time that I click. Select video, uh, select record audio from microphone. For audio options, you're able to select different recording formats. And the recording format that you use does not really matter. However, the compressed format that you use will affect the size and final quality of your video. I set interleave every to my key rate, keyframes, uh, which is four. If you have issues with recording quality, try using use MCI recording. For compression formats, uh, I like to use MPEG Layer 3. L LAME, L-A-M-E, is also another good one. If you click on um, the volume button here, you're able to adjust different audio properties. If you enable auto pan, what that is going to do is cause the uh, recording region to follow your mouse location. You can also uh, set your auto pan speed, which is how quickly uh, it will pan. I recommend having a check mark next to save settings on exit under program options. And also not playing the AVI when recording stops. For temporary directory, I just use use installed directory. Recording thread priority, uh, highest. Uh, experiment with each one. I've seen negligible difference between different selections. Name of AVI file. Now, uh, if you select this to use automatic file naming, then you will not be able to control uh, which directory the file is created in. And files will always be created in the same directory where Camp Studio is located. However, if you select Ask for File Name, then you will be asked uh, after each recording which directory to use, and it will remember the directory that was used last. Uh, this is very convenient. Preset Time, don't use it. This program also has the ability to record to flash, and uh, if you do that, 
Uh, well, the way to toggle that back and forth is to click on this button, SWF or AVI. Recording to flash is beneficial if you want to make something for a web page. And it works pretty well, so it's worth giving a try to take a look, see how it, uh, see how you like it. Under keyboard shortcuts, uh, I recommend setting the following. Uh, set up something for the record pause key and also the stop key. The other keys really don't matter. Under tools, there's basic options for screen and video annotations. And there's also a SWF producer, which you can use to convert a created AVI file to a flash file. And since that's available, I recommend doing everything in AVI first. Under effects, annotation, you can add a caption or a watermark. That's beneficial for branding purposes. It's very basic though. And that's about it for configuring Cam Studio. Under options, video options, uh, after selecting a compressor, you might want to click on the configure button and uh, by doing so you can access a lot of options. If you've selected FDD show then uh, the number of options you'll see is quite large. The Cam Studio lossless codec is uh, a, a highly recommended codec for um, making a source video that later on you will uh, transcode However, uh, myself, I like to just use uh, FFD Show, and specifically, you want to use FFD Show Tryouts, which is uh, the latest ongoing project for FFD Show. You'll get better compression, better results, 